Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Wall Plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about the Gable Wall feature that I've recently added. Um, this is the uh, icon up here where it says Draw Gable Wall. So this was added back in, uh, I think, September and October, and um, there's probably still a little bit more work to be done with it, but I uh, just wanted to put together a small video showing a little bit about how to use that. So let's start with, and we'll probably put up a just a slab on grade foundation, so uh, just to give us something to work with. And I always like to start with this grid tool just because it gives me a really quick way to lay out uh, floor plans or foundations or anything of that sort of nature. So let's go ahead and just put a slab on grade. Rectangle should be fine. And I'm just going to do like a quick uh, 24 by 32 inch slab. All right, and let's just uh, put some three, number three in there. Okay, so there we have a slab. We can use that now to lay out our walls. So when I start drawing gable walls, I actually typically like to just, um, and you can do this however you want, but I think the easiest way to work with uh, gable walls is to first just lay out your outline of your perimeter uh, of your exterior walls and just start with rectangular walls because the rectangular wall tool um, uses the polyline mode and it allows you to just quickly throw up your walls just like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just wrap this uh, foundation with uh, some walls. And let's drop him right there. Okay. And you notice um, that the edges have been turned off. Uh, and that, uh, by the way, is a new feature. I'm just going to show you that really quick here. So you have this what's called Remove Cladding Lines uh, feature, which essentially turns off the lines, uh, or edges, I, I guess is a better word, uh, with the cladding. Um, that's just a new thing I added. And that is useful in situations, and that says parameter right here. Um, let's go ahead and turn that back uh, to the regular setting, which is no. And then you'll notice if you regen these walls, um, the, the lines reappear, uh, or edges reappear. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, it's just another uh, little thing that might help where you're uh, blending a lot of w stacked walls or other uh, wall situations where you have split walls uh, adjacent to each other. Okay, so I'm going to first of all go ahead and turn off some of this uh, sheathing and cladding uh, layers just so we can kind of get a better idea what's going on here. Let's turn off the gypsum too while we're at it. Okay, so there's our skeleton, right? So typically I think with gable walls you like to have the situation where you have what it's called an inset corner on the gable wall and an outside corner or <clears throat> the in see, notice how this wall is inset in and this wall extends all the way to the exterior so that's typically what you want to do with your gable walls I think I mean there you can do it either way so I'm and that's why I created this like this because I'm gonna just go ahead and delete this wall now uh, and by the way there is no way to convert a rectangular wall to a gable wall at this point uh, at some point I may add that feature but um, th there's some complexities involved with that so I haven't done that so let's go ahead and now create a gable wall so just click the gable wall tool. You'll notice you have three options here. Uh, these other options are not yet available. They're grayed out. So let's just do a regular uh, typical gable wall. And we're just going to kind of keep everything default. For, you know, you've got your wall pitch left, wall pitch right, uh, 412 pitch. So when you do a gable wall like this, you want to start at the corner, the outside corner of this framing. Okay, and the Corner configuration routines or algorithms will automatically configure the corners of this gable wall to match what we've got going on with these other rectangular walls. Okay, so now we're going to just put it right there, and you notice that it automatically inset that gable wall as it should. However, you will notice that it is cutting back the top plate, the top top plate of this. Uh, rectangular wall like it, it's you know it's ready to accept the board coming from the other rectangular wall so that is uh, something I need to uh, work on um, you know typically which what that would be is that that should actually be doing uh, this sort of thing um, so I will need to uh, address that and add some extra code in there to 
so when the gable wall does meet this uh, rectangular wall it will take care of those top plates like it should okay so that uh, basically is a gable wall right <clears throat> now let's go ahead and put a roof on this guy a gable roof just to see uh, how that looks and actually we're going to turn the sheathing back on so we can see that and then we'll just go ahead up here to the rafter roof algorithm or mod tool sorry and go ahead and drop our roof right there at that point and then we'll go ahead and and this is why this is a little bit of an issue here oops I'm inside the model don't want to do that I need a, one of those space mouses I guess okay and then let's bring our mouse there and get all the way back over here all right uh let's just kind of leave everything as defaults for now uh, symmetric gable's fine advanced roof options sure and let's turn the gutters off we don't want those on right now okay so there's our gable roof sitting on top a uh, raft roof sorry sitting on top of this um and let's turn off some of these things so we can see what's happening with the framing so that's of most interest to us right now. So let's turn that sheathing back off. And let's turn off the roof cladding. It's sometimes hard to see all these layers in here. There's so many in the roof sheathing. Okay. Okay, so now we can really see what's happening. All right. So, like I said, this is a typical situation where you've got a rafter roof coming up onto a gable uh, wall. Um, <clears throat> And of course, this would, you know, like I said, this this one here is not quite correct because that top plate should not be, it should extend all the way. Um, you you know, you can adjust these gable walls or roofs, sorry, so that the this last uh, rafter is not like a deep two by eight, might be a two by four. If you do that, then all you have to do is adjust the height of this wall, uh, you know, to bring it up to mat meet that. Um, that their uh, rafter or gable rafter uh, let's go ahead and just throw some doors and windows in here just to see kind of what happens so you got a door maybe you got a window um, pretty standard um, okay so that's basically a gable wall oh so I do want to do one thing let's turn back on that wall uh, actually before we do that let's take a look at this sort of situation so there might be a situation you know where you have a gable situation or roof where you don't want a, a balloon frame gable wall maybe you want to have a triangular you know piece of wall sitting there on top of this other wall so yeah you can always do that um, basically you just do the gable wall function again and in this case though the wall height we can set these to zero now you just go ahead and set those right to zero hit update on that and then just bring your mouse right here to this point right where it's going to insert in and then we're going to grab the other side here a little bit tricky with this sometimes and just get that mouse right nicely lined up in there and there you have it so now we've just infilled framed that uh, trying your little piece in there okay so you know you have that option uh, the one thing I will say though is that um, you know I, I do want to uh, let's edit that wall and you can always right click on the wall as well so notice that there's th you know there's basically three plates all sitting on top of each other here which is a little bit redundant in my opinion um, so you know you've got a couple options really uh, you can change well I guess you could change this to a single plate but I'd, I'd rather not do that so what I do need to do actually is add in the ability to set the bottom plate quantity to zero for this uh, type of gable wall so that is also something on the to-do list um, but in this case I'm gonna actually just uh, bump the top plate here to one just because I can and just to show you what happens and that's pretty basic okay um, so there there you have it so let's say we want to put in you know maybe a vent up there or something so this gets a little uh, you know, we got to we got to play with the settings a little bit to make this work 
um, because obviously if I try to put a window up there it's way way too high so let's do let's let's say a 16 by 16 and eh, we're not going to need a 6 by header for that are we maybe just a couple little, I don't know two by fours and then we're going to turn on the advanced window options we're going to turn the shutters off in this case we don't need interior casing maybe the exterior trim's fine and we're going to change this from a picture window to a louver update on that and I'm going to say just I don't even know how high I want this right now okay so it's obviously way too high let's say 30 inches maybe yeah that works I think that'll work Let's just come along here, find the center of that. Okay. And you can see it's framed in a little uh, a louver into that thing. Okay. Now let's turn back on our sheathing and our cladding. So let's turn on the wall sheathing again. And where's our cladding? There it is. Right. So we have a gable end wall that's not balloon framed, and we have a gable end wall that is balloon framed. Okay. Um, you know, and obviously there might be situations, you know, where you've got soffit and what have you coming in, and this sheathing and cladding obviously is not up to the soffit, or maybe it needs to be up to here. There's no soffit; it's just an open, open soffit. So let's let's just assume, for instance, that this is an open soffit. Okay. Um, and so what we can do is just like the rectangular walls, you can offset uh, the top and bottom of your clad and sheathing of these gable walls. So let's just, um, I'm just going to draw a little line here just so I can measure it easily. I'm going to drop a line right there if I can get it. And I'm also going to switch my units to decimal just because I want to get a better more accurate uh, number here. All right, so if I measure that line, I'm, I'm looking at the you know the exact vertical height there. Right. Okay. So basically, I just want to bring uh, my sheathing and my cladding up to meet these uh, out little outlookers, right? <clears throat> so what we can do is just edit this wall, and we go down here. And we take the sheathing, the top, this T stands for top, that stands for bottom. So we're just going to bump that up, 6922. And we're going to also do the same thing for the cladding. Okay, and then hit update. And there you go. Now you've got your cladding basically nice and tight up against those outlookers, and that's what we want. Okay. Um, so, you know, that's just kind of a quick overview of the gable wall feature. It's basically, you know, really not that different from rectangular walls, other than the fact that when you draw a gable wall, um, you'll notice that it does not go into polyline mode. So if, if I click here and I go quickly here, I'm just going to drop one over here, and I'll drop, uh, actually, let's, before we do that, let's change the wall height. Let's go back, let's say oh, 120 inches, make a nice tall wall. Date. Okay, so now, as soon as you draw that wall, you're going to notice that the tool stops, terminates, um, and because basically, basically, the, there's not really any situations where you're doing a polyline uh, gable wall situation. So you know you wouldn't draw a gable wall here and then another gable wall, wall over there. I mean, there are a couple situations, but it's kind of far and few between. So basically, it's just a one-off. It's a line tool, not a polyline tool. Okay, so that's a typical gable wall. Oh, and a few things with gable walls. Um, you've got quite a few options here. Uh, for instance, you know, you can always change up the different pitches on your roof. And so it automatically will figure out, you know, what to do with that and, and frame it accordingly, obviously. Um, you can also change the wall height. And, you know, there are certain geom geometries that you might get yourself into that won't quite work. And, um, you know, I can't say the plugin will gracefully handle them at this point, but it will try its best to handle them. So here we've got, you know, we've got a left side that's 12 feet, a other right side that's 10 feet. 
with a 6 uh, pitch, 6 12 pitch on the left and a 4 12 pitch on the right. Okay, so you can get some pretty interesting uh, geometries configured with this thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and just to show you real quick um, shed wall, same sort of thing. Now you, all you're dealing with is one pitch and one wall height on the left and then the wall height on the right is calculated for you. So for instance that's a wall. Now let's say for instance you want to um, you want to swap this around you can change the uh, wall direction to right from left okay and then you can see that it's now framed it this way instead of the other way okay uh, shed walls a little more simpler not as complicated obviously and we'll throw a door in there throw a door in this one just to show you so you know it's it takes care of all your multi <laughs> link studs and all that fun stuff Okay, and lastly, uh, let's just look at a hip wall. A hip wall is basically like a reg basic gable wall. The only difference is it's got that flat top. Um, let's just go with the, the defaults here just to show you that. And notice it's not actually going to show you the, the preview until you have a wall length that is um, that will actually work, right? Because if it's too short, it, it doesn't have room to draw the pitches at the given wall heights plus the flat surface. So once that reaches a point where it's saying, okay, now it's a valid wall, then it will give you the preview. Okay. So that's basically it. And again, uh, these both of these wall types, uh, hip and shed, as well as, uh, as well as the gable, all of them can be uh, adjusted to a zero wall height. So you essentially have different triangular shapes. So, you know, you get a triangular type of shape, uh, a right triangle, and then this one is kind of more of a trapezoidal shape, I suppose. Anyways, um, there's yeah, there's quite a bit uh, to do with these uh, new gable walls. Um, lot, lots going on here. Um, again, I have a few little things I still need to address. One is, of course, the situation where you have the wall corners connecting, and we want this top plate to extend all the way. And uh, I think there was one or two other little items. Uh, regarding gable walls that need to be addressed but uh, primarily they seem to work fairly well um, and uh, hopefully at some point I'm going to be able to add a few more of the other uh, p possible configurations um, you know there's quite a few of them as you can see this radius one and the gambler one and the Clara story is probably the three next that really need to be addressed uh, these ones are a little more exotic so I don't know that I'll get onto those uh, right away so anyways, if you have any questions, um, please feel free to call me, email me, uh, contact me any way you like. Um, I'm always here uh, to try to help you uh, use these tools. And as always, I appreciate your feedback. So thank you very much.